Aloha gang, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be using Scalar 2 to find out what chords are being played on this sample that I just picked out randomly. Let's get it. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super stoked to show you this awesome feature that Scalar 2 gives us right out of the box. That is audio detection. We're basically gonna drop a sample that I just picked out randomly into Scalar and have the chords magically appear. It doesn't get any easier than that, now does it? Hey, really quick before we start, I wanna thank everybody who is new to the channel. You guys have been super awesome and giving me such amazing feedback and comments. Keep commenting, keep liking these videos so this can get in front of more people and more producers and we can grow this community need together also make sure to sub let's get it all right you guys so we're going to be using scalar 2 to find the chord progressions of a sample that we want to use for our metronome we're going to be using this little drum beat right here 90 bpm pretty simple let's go ahead and take a listen to the sample three four So that's a little hard to pick out if you were just going to use your ear and you wanted to find chords that were being used in that sample. It, it's kind of tricky. You know, it may take you a long time, but Scalar is going to make it easy for us. Now, all we got to do is drop this sample into our Scalar, hit yes. And let's go ahead and check some of these chords. close let's hear it with the sample now um, first I want to bind these chords to my MIDI controller so we're gonna come over here to the right side and click bind button and now these chords are lined up with our keyboard or our MIDI controller so let's go ahead and listen to that Now we could probably mess around with the sound and, and see if we can maybe have it as a pad underneath that. That's probably what I would do. So let's find. Let's make sure these are looped. Let's try this out. around from there but you kind of get the basic idea how fast was that from going from this pretty advanced chord progression not even knowing what it is dropping it into scalar and then having a sort of base to choose from I absolutely love this feature one thing I want you guys to check out make sure you when you drop in your source if you have a, a, a low volume sample you're gonna want to move this little button right here it's kind of hard to see but this is a slider right here 
And what that's going to, what that does is that allows you to, if you're bringing in or recording a chord progression in, that's going to allow you to drop the threshold so Scalar can then hear um, uh, the chords that are being played in it. Yeah. So that's it, you guys. Nice, short, and simple. That's how I want to give you guys these little chunked out videos so you can learn in new features. If you already haven't found this one, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite. If you guys are new to Scalar and you want to figure out how do I write a whole song, I'm talking verse, chorus, pre-chorus, bridge, blee, blah, 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 all the, all the steps all the steps laid out click on this video right here i do a full breakdown and i show you how to make the chord progressions and then skip between them in a super simple way just how scalar does it all right i'll catch you on the next one click on this video though click on it go ahead don't be scared come on in the water's warm peace